we're going to make fudge frosting. This particular frosting is cooked on the stove. If you're looking for one that uh, you don't want to cook, then I have several other icings and frostings that you don't have to cook on the uh, stove. So please just check out my channel. What we're going to do in our uh, pot, we're going to put a half a cup of granulated sugar and we're also going to put a quarter cup of baking uh, cocoa in it. And we're also going to put a quarter of a cup of milk. And then with uh, your spoon or your spatula, just combine that all into your pan till it all mixes together. And the more you stir it, of course, the lumps are going to uh, come out and disappear. So, so far, that's what it looks like. And then we're also going to be kneading butter. And we're going to put two tablespoons of stick butter. Now, if you don't want to use butter, you can use margarine, but don't use the margarine spreads. And then I'm just melting the butter in this. Now, this particular uh, recipe will take you about three minutes. You'll need to boil it on high for three minutes, so do uh, keep an eye on it and keep stirring it. If you find it's too hot and, of course, you don't want to burn the chocolate, uh, then lower it to medium. So, um, but you'll need at least three minutes on a boil uh, to make this fudge frosting. Now, this particular fudge frosting um, will uh, cover a 13 by 9 uh, a cake. Now I'm putting in corn syrup and you're going to need a tablespoon of corn syrup. Now my mixture is uh, becoming very hot. It hasn't started to boil yet though, but hopefully it will in just a few seconds here. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a dash of salt in. Now what we'll do next is just wait till it boils and that will take about three minutes. Now once it's come to a um, three minute boil, uh, what you'll want to do though, you'll want to take it off the stove and you'll want to cool it a little bit. You either want to cool it completely down or till it's about, well, lukewarm, if, especially if you're in a hurry and you need it. Uh, quickly. I'm already boiling it. Now what I'm going to do with the video, I'm, of course I'm not going to wait for cooling time, So, but I am going to um, boil this just for a little bit longer and then I'm going to finish up the recipe. But I'm going to be able to show you what it does look like finished once it's um, uh, been cooled. So it is boiling right now, and as it does that, it does begin to start to thicken. Now, once the three minutes is up and you let it cool down just a little bit, you're going to be adding powdered sugar. And you're going to be using anywhere from a half a cup to three quarters. What I like to do is actually separate it so that I might not be able to uh, want to use the quarter. I know I have the half a cup that I put in. So um, it, it'll really depend on you and how thick you want it and that type of thing. But you can go as much as three quarters of a cup. So it is at a rolling boil. And I think we're almost at three minutes. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this off the heat and I am going to complete it instead of waiting it for it to, um, to cool. So I'm going to put my little cooktop out of the way here. Now if we can just kind of imagine that this has been cooled, what you're going to do is you're going to put in your half a teaspoon of vanilla and mix that in. Now with a um, hand mixer, now we're going to start putting in that powdered sugar. 
and I have a half a cup in this bowl. So I'm just going to start to beat this in. This particular frosting, that the more that it cools down, the thicker it gets. That's a half a cup that went in. But the same thing you're going to do is you're going to check it after that half a cup and you're going to see if it's thick enough. The reason you're beating it is that you want to get all the lumps out of the powdered sugar. So I want to kind of get to the bottom of this pot and clean those sides. I'll show you what we have so far. Yet again, the mixture is still a little bit hot, but you can see how fudgy it's coming out. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit of that quarter cup, just with my spatula, not even with the beading. And I'm going to show you how pretty. It comes to extremely high gloss uh, chocolate. Chocolate fudge. Alright, and this is the consistency that we have already. So you can imagine once it starts to cool, it really will come out perfect. Now, I have some to show you, and this is how much you're going to make. This is going to cover uh, like I said, about a 13 by 9 uh, cake. If you want to double your recipe, of course, go ahead. Uh, that way you could uh, uh, fill and frost a 1 uh, 8 inch round uh, cake. Um, but I'm going to be making a 13 by 9 um, cake. So this is perfect for it. But you can see how thick and how I, hopefully you can see uh, it it's really a very rich chocolate fudge frosting. Pretty easy to make even though we cooked it on the stove. I hope you like this one. If you do, leave a comment. Let me hear from you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.